storm I've seen, and I saw a tropical storm today and Hurricane Lily last year, and this is probably better than the two of those. Things are calming down now in Port O'Connor, Texas, after Claudette roars through earlier this morning with winds probably up. We've had reports of wind gusts over 80 miles per hour. In some locations, about 90 mile per hour wind gusts reported. And now, as the hurricane continues to move inland, we're still expecting some pretty nasty weather. Hello and welcome to the Weather Channel. I'm Janetta Jones, and this is your tropical update. Today's big story is Claudette. Here's the latest on Hurricane Claudette, and we are talking about the 2 p.m. Central Daylight Time Advisory, and it's got winds of 75 miles per hour still, and movement toward the west-northwest at 14 miles per hour. We have hurricane warnings in effect from High Island, Texas, to Baffin Bay, Texas, and we also have tornado watches in effect from Houston to Corpus Christi, and a number of tornado warnings are also in effect for Aransas County, Goli top of the Weather has calmed down significantly here in Port O'Connor, Texas, after Hurricane Claudette roared through earlier this morning. I'll have a live update with all the details in just a moment. Powerful winds and driving rain whipped Freeport, Texas. Hurricane Claudette made landfall, snapping power lines and bending palm trees. Here's a look at where Hurricane Claudette is at this hour. Now, the major impact at this hour will be the heavy rain and still some pretty strong winds. Claudette can also spark tornadoes. And we'll check with our weather, severe weather expert, on that possibility. Good evening and welcome to this edition of Weather Center. I'm Cheryl Lemke. And I'm Vivian Brown. Thanks for joining us this hour. We are continuing to update you, of course, on Hurricane Claudette. Our latest satellite picture shows that the center of circulation has moved onshore. It continues to move to the northwest, bringing with it very heavy rains. Deep tropical moisture could create flooding problems. Flood watches have been issued. Let's go now live to our very own media just Jeff Morrow. Jeff, it was a rough time for you earlier when Claudette came ashore, but it looks as though things have calmed down somewhat at this hour. Yeah, they really have calmed down, Vivian. No two ways about it. The eye passed directly over Port O'Connor here this morning. Uh, on the western side of it, the western eye wall, if you will, of the uh, hurricane was very intense. We had uh, tremendous winds. In fact, we can show you some pictures that were shot during that time. Uh, just a lot of debris flying through the air. Uh, we had a confirmed wind gust here of about uh, 76 miles an hour, just over uh, hurricane force. And there were gusts that I am estimating now were over 80 miles an hour. We did get some structural damage around this town. A lot of power lines are down. Um, some of the power poles actually snapped in half. And again, uh, we've had reports of some mobile homes being uh, tossed about and uh, ripped apart as well. So again, uh, pretty hard hit here in this uh, coastal uh, fishing village, really, of Port O'Connor, Texas. But again, the, as soon as, as quickly as that eye wall moved in, it moved past. We got into the eye. It calmed down. And the western side, much less intense. So now all that's left is the cleanup. Back to you, Vivian. Okay, thank you very much. That's Jeff Morrow live in Port Arthur, Texas, or Port O'Connor, Texas, uh, certainly braving the storm for us. As Hurricane Claudette moves over land, those in the path of the storm can expect flooding, and there is also the possibility of a tornado or two. Our severe weather expert, Dr. Greg Forbes, joins us now with more on the stormy weather from Claudette. Dr. Forbes? There has been at least one tornado warning, uh, one tornado that occurred. The tornado warnings for the moment now have expired at the top of the hour, but we did have a tornado within this band. Now, that's a little unusual. It's on the west side of the circulation center. Let me put this in motion. You'll see that the uh, tropical storm, the hurricane here, is pushing its way almost due westward now, and uh, there's still the worst weather is within this west side portion of the eye wall. Note the uh, big asymmetry here. It's the worst, the west side that's worst. We've had reports of wind damage around a Point Comfort and Port Lavaca, and most recently the Refurio area. That's right over in this area. All of this is right near the Beeville area. That's where the heaviest rains are. That's where the wind damage and possible tornadoes are at this time. The core of the eye wall here is going to miss the San Antonio area that's right up at the top there. It's headed from the Beeville area over toward places like uh, 
old uh, Cotula and south of San Antonio over toward Del Rio uh, midday or so tomorrow. Let's take a look here from the uh, perspective of uh, the heavy rainfall amounts. And that's going to miss San Antonio. You may not get too much more than two inches. Uh, it's really a narrow core that comes across here that's going to get that five to ten inches.